Hey, it's Merry Christmas. I tried it. I don't know if it really worked. We're going with it. Hi, it is Christmas time. I have Santa hat. Do you like? I never know whether the pom-pom goes in the front or the back. Now it looks weird. Maybe like to the side. I'm doing a Christmas slash winter, just general winter because that's fun too, themed squishy makeover. Yay! I have not done a Christmas themed squishy makeover, but once, I believe in 2018, the Santa bag with the little bear and the little chocolate. And then the busted Rudolph. Oh boy. It's kind of cute in like a ugly way. I created Alfred in that video as well. Alfred was like the winter character, not specifically Christmas, and he ended up having a whole family. I don't know what my point is. Just, come on, buddy. I guess I just wanted to have a nice little Christmas show and tell. It has been four years. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just dealing with that. So I'm ready to refresh. I don't think I would have let this one live with my current set of standards. So I hope that I can make something a little bit better. You guys can go. To prepare for this squishy makeover, I have gone through my extensive collection of squishies and found every single Christmas or winter related squishy that I could possibly find. And that's where we're gonna be starting. Okay, so let's look at what I found in my hunt and go from there. Here is the full family of Christmas slash winter themed squishies. Can you hear that? Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting a ding a ling. <laughs> Those are not the lyrics. There's quite a bit of variety here. Multiple different Santas. This Santa is a head, not a head, a head. Plus cat Santa ball, gotta have that. We have an elf, Rudolph himself, much cuter than that interpretation. Oh, another reindeer, not Rudolph, could be Comet, Cupid, Blitzen, Whatever their names are. I don't know. It's one of them. Christmas tree. Another Christmas tree. Snowman. Snowmen. Oh, snowmens. Plus a bunch of animals in mugs. Hot drinks I thought were like wintry. Penguins are also cold weather equals winter. A bunch of polar bears. Oh, sorry. That's a panda. These scarfed cats. Are you good, bro? Something not right about that guy. This bunny with a donut, which honestly has nothing to do with Christmas or winter. And this bunny. Technically not Christmas related, but it has a Christmas Aura. Do you feel that? I feel it. So I picked out a couple of my favorites. Well, more than a couple. Because I love them all. But I do have to narrow this down a little bit more or we'll be here all month. The bunny is non-negotiable. The Christmas spirit is strong in this one. <gasps> Bunny Christmas. Yeah, that's happening. With this one, my thought was that I could make the donut into a wreath. Then I noticed that it would be eating the wreath. Suddenly that doesn't seem like a great idea. This little penguin is just so cute. Oh, and look at this Santa hat. It would be the perfect size for him. <gasps> yes, I have to have this one. This one's gonna be number two. <laughs> Not that number two. This polar bear, I just can't help but love those accessories. Mm. But considering I did an accessorized polar bear in my last Christmas squishy makeover, I think I should pass on this one. I was very tempted to put this adorable polar bear in this Christmas tree. Oh! And I kind of wanted to give the penguin a coffee cup. Looks like you could use it. When is the last time you slept? But I eventually settled on the scarfed cat. Just gotta decide which one. Eeny, meeny, miny, not you. Let's not even pretend like I gave you a chance. So then, who, who, hmm. Ah, just make a decision. I guess you. Great. Let's get on with this, shall we? Here's squishy roasting. Now, before you crazy fanatics sprint to the comment section to inform me, yes, I am aware of who this cat is. It's Garfield. Somebody wrote this on the back. I love Harry Potter. Okay. Anyway, I've actually had my eye on this cat for a long time. Kind of had to since people keep sending it to me. But honestly, I've been too scared to change it because Harry Potter fans can be a little intense. All right. Yeah, I know this is Harry Potter. I'm gonna go ahead and change the precious Harry Potter. I'm feeling brave. Don't kill me. On to the makeover. First thing I want to do is ditch these glasses because it's my character now and this character happens to have 20-20 vision. Lucky. Next I'm gonna do a quick sanding. Oh boy we got a flaky one. Ugh. 
I hate when they get like this. It's time to start cleaning up the mess that I made using some nice festive green puffy paint. I'm gonna spread a nice thick layer of that over the face to smooth out the surface. Basically, I'm just building a new skin here since I've just ruined its once perfect complexion. I'm sorry. Okay, that's looking pretty good, right? Now it's time for the base coat. I'm gonna apply some white paint over the entire squishy for a nice fresh start. And voila, blank canvas for me. <laughs> the face looked pretty smooth to me, but as soon as I started painting, there's a little bit more lumpiness left over than I realized. That's okay. I like that. Now that I got my cat all beautifully colored, it's time for the beautiful color. Everyone say hi. The rainbow is here. Now this squishy is gonna be my more winter themed design. It's not specifically for Christmas. I saw this scarf and I just could not resist. It was too perfect of a rainbow opportunity. Although of course there weren't enough stripes to complete the rainbow cycle perfectly. <laughs> this cat is really reminding me of Catty Cake. Similar colors, similar rainbow band, similar rainbow cycle not being repeated perfectly. It's all very deja vu, minus the cake part. So this is not Catty cake. It cannot be catty cake because you can never uncake the catty cake. This is just catty. No, Kathy with a C, <laughs> like a cat, Kathy. Now I'm just gonna clean up the edges of the scarf. Ooh, so satisfying. One thing I just loved about this squishy is the way that it's standing with its face pointing up. It's like, it's, it's like up. It's hard to describe. I'm just gonna act it out. It's a very expressive pose, but the face was just kind of like this blank stare. So I wanted to redesign the facial expression to match the pose. So I went with this big cheesy smile. Yes, like that, thank you. It was a little bit nerve wracking because this is quite a different facial expression than I normally do. I just hope it's not too vampire-y. Does it look too vampire-y? I spent some time tweaking it and trying to get it to look right. And here is the before and after. For the safety of myself and my family, I must say, I mean no disrespect to Harry Potter, but I kind of prefer the new design. The color scheme is just more my style, and the face. Oh, I love that face, Kathy. You're too much, girl. She is just smiling to the ceiling. Oh, what was that sound? Oh, it's just mini me getting into stuff. Hey, what you got there? Anyway, Kathy, I love you. Super happy with this one. So next, I'm gonna go to, oh, okay, I'll be back in a minute. I wanna pop in here to tell you guys about a little fun holiday activity. I'm holding a little contest for my sparklers out there. If you missed it, I did recently launch an app called Spark. I did an entire segment on it in one of my recent videos, so I'll link to that if you haven't seen it. So today I'm opening a holiday card contest within Spark. You can enter the contest using the special star shape. Go ahead and design your holiday card using whatever you want. I went ahead and did my own design just for fun. I did this design of Kathy inside of a wreath. I thought it was a cute idea. I kind of like it. Obviously, I'm not really eligible to be in the contest because I'm going to be picking the winner. I can't pick myself. At least that's what I've been told. It's not fair. When you're done with your design, submit it through events in the adventure section. The winner of the contest will receive a set of in-app stickers, which are adorable. Plus, I will be printing out the design and physically attaching it to my art wall. I have this little space, so this is just going to be perfect for that. If you haven't already downloaded Spark, the link is in the description to download. I also do want to acknowledge my international and Android users. I love you guys. I promise I do. Spark is not available everywhere yet. To my international friends, the English version of Spark will be available internationally soon. For my Android friends, we are working on it. It is very, very complicated. It is a huge goal of mine to make Spark available for every single person on the planet and on Nafalofkis. So I really appreciate patience and I will keep you guys updated. Thank you to everyone who has downloaded Spark so far. There have been thousands, hundreds of thousands of new artworks created in Spark. <laughs> I'm mind blown. We are releasing a special pickled pink icon that only I can place as a reaction to creations from you guys. So from now on, I'll be leaving a little pickled pink on a handful of different creations each week that I just love. Can't wait to see what you guys design for the contest and let's get back to the squishies. Hi, I'm back. Next, I'm gonna go ahead with Bunny Christmas. Once again, this is a pre-existing character. It's called Cinnamon. 
cinema roll. Cinema roll? Now I can't remember. Oh, cinema roll. I guess because the tail looks like a cinnamon roll. Once I brought in the mini Christmas tree, I'm simply smitten, okay? Honestly, I love it just like this. But I am gonna, you know, keep going and change things up more because this is squishy makeover, not squishy keep things the same. So let's do that makeover thing now, shall we? I'm gonna start by trimming up some of the uneven edges and giving both the squishies a nice sand. Twinkle, twinkle. Next, I need to do a quick and easy tail removal surgery. You are no longer cinema. Why can't I get that right? Cinema whatever the butt. You're my bunny Christmas. I do want to bring in some pom-poms to replace the tail. We got big. Ooh, ooh, no. And small. Yes. Then to prepare for the Christmas tree, I'm just going to detrunk that boy and pluck some little dimple pimples out of the head. <laughs> What? Now coming in my fabric hot glue gun. Yeah, that's right, I got it labeled. I'm gluing that Christmas tree in place as well as a new little tail. Now here we go, sealing up that seam and going over the rough area with puffy paint multiple times. And there, we're ready. Getting out my base coat, I'm just gonna throw that over the face and the green areas. I get to be lazy with this one and not paint the entire thing because white doesn't need to be white, er. <laughs> Now I'm feeling a little special. I wanna add some glitz and glamor. So I picked out some iridescent paint. That's what they call it, iridescent. Really, it's just metallic. It's been a while since I've done this metallic type squishy. I ran out of my white metallic, so I just used my regular white puffy paint as the base, hoping that the metallic color would still show through. Mistake number one. So here I go, starting on the painting journey. Let's just watch as my hopes and dreams turn into regret. You can see here that that, uh, you can barely see here. I'm painting with the paint, and where is the color? I don't know, it's not here. This paint is super transparent, okay? It's barely showing up at all. I should have run, okay? I should have gone the other direction. I should have said, no, no, I'm not doing this, but I didn't, okay? I decided to keep going after layer number two. Mm, not much change after layer number three. I think I'm starting to see more color. Layer number four may or may not have made some difference. Finally, by about the 10th layer, now's when I notice that, um, where's metallic? Where's, where's metallic? She's not here. I guess since I contaminated my metallics with the regular white puffy paint, it doesn't quite look metallic. What I've got here is a slightly sweaty looking green. Oh, and we haven't even done the back. 10 coats later and here's the back. Whoopee. Yes, that was annoying, but it would all be worth it if I liked it. Problem is, I don't like it. Bunny Christmas is supposed to be magical, not sweaty. So despite all the time and energy I spent on the metallic paint, I'm just gonna mix up a similar color with my regular paint and I'm going over all of it. <laughs> so let's just move on from that. I'm sketching out my design for this. While I loved the clean simplicity of the original bunny, I wanna go all out with the decorations. I did bring back the metallic paint. I never learned. This time I'm gonna use it just straight from the bottle, real thick. I'm gonna create these garlands going across the bunny and it's like the tree is like kind of unraveling and wrapping around the bunny in a way. I did keep the tree with the metallic and I also used metallic yellow for the star on the top and I actually feel like it's kind of nice to have the mixture of the metallic and the not metallic. I added some ornaments and little bows, drew in the face and added some little toe pads which pretty sure bunnies don't actually have toe pads like this but oh well. I really love how this one came out. This is definitely my favorite of all the Christmas themed squishies that I've made. Not saying there's that much competition. I love the colors of it because it does seem Christmassy and festive, but they're also very me. Oh boy, you caught me in between nail polish. Merry Christmas to you. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Despite the challenges of this one, I really like how it came out in the end. Okay, the last one is my little penguin. I picked this one, frankly, because it's adorable. Also, I kind of felt like I needed to use at least one of the Santas, what better way than to just cut off the face and use the hat? Put it on something much cuter. Switching to paint mode, I'm just gonna rip the little eye pin out of the top of the penguin's head, slap that Santa hat right on 
there. Oh, also, I cut his beak off. As cute as that little penguin was, I noticed that it had remarkable similarities to an even more elevated creature, a blob. The penguin looks like a blob. So I'm gonna change it into a blob, quickly doing these little itty bitty repairs. Then onto the base coat, and this is where I discovered I did a sketchy job on the beak removal. Botched that one. It almost looks like an angry face though. I started with green paint and went for like a two-toned ombre. Then I realized this looks way too similar to Froggy Blob and I love Froggy, but nope, I don't want ya. So I'm switching to the other signature Christmas color, which is actually kind of good because I already did a green character with Bunny Christmas, so I don't know what I was thinking anyway. I did the same ombre thing with the pink to red, painting on the traditional Santa Claus hat. Then, you know what? Since this blob already has that big old frown, I'm just gonna go with it, okay? It's fate. I was just gonna make a nice little cheerful Christmas blob, but mistakes were made. And now that I see this, it all makes perfect sense, okay? I know exactly who this is. His name is Santa Blob. Santa Blob is a general manager for Santa's workshop. He is the one who actually keeps all the elves on track. While Santa Claus is out drinking milk and eating cookies, Santa Blob is out here struggling. This was definitely the simplest of the makeovers, but I really like it. I've designed a lot of blobs, but this is the first blob squishy that I've made, and I'm glad that it's here. You know, I just think that Santa Blob deserves to get more recognition for what he does. Hashtag credit for Santa Blob. And that's it. Those are my two Christmas squishies plus my winter squishy. She, aka Kathy. I really love how all of these came out. I'm super happy to have some fresh new Christmas designs in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!